Hello everyone, I am Jolie. Please like, subscribe to our channel before I share my story. The security of the apartment building I live in doesn't seem to be very reliable. There is a man who often stalks and annoys me. I have reported many times to the building security and they promised to handle it. But only a few days later, I caught that pervert again. Once, when I got home from work, I caught him from the basement of the building's garage. I tried to ignore it, then walked quickly towards the elevator. Also, I heard footsteps behind me. I pressed the elevator button, muttering curses at the elevator of the old building we were in. How slow are the elevators? Hurry up! Hurry up! Maybe the elevator heard what I said. The door opened very quickly. I looked around and then rushed inside. I tried to press repeatedly to close the elevator door. I thought I had escaped from him, but when the elevator door was about to close, a hand appeared, blocking the elevator door. Startlingly, it's him! He glanced at me and then walked in. My heart felt like it was going to jump out of my chest. Just me and him in this elevator. What I had to do! And luckily, another elderly man entered. With more people here, he won't be able to do anything to me. I breathe a sigh of relief, secretly grateful for the man's presence. Why don't you two press the floor? Which floor do you want to go to? The old man's question surprised me. It is true that I had not clicked on the actual floor. I'm on the 10th floor. Thank you. And you? I also went to the 10th floor. I look at the pervert. I... I just told him which floor I was on. Why did I forgot he was here? The elevator stopped on the ninth floor. The other uncle came out. It's just me and the pervert again. The elevator stopped on the tenth floor. While I was hesitating about whether to go out or not, the pervert came out before me. He walked across the road from my room. I waited until he was out of my sight before I dared to step out and muster the courage to run as fast as I could toward my room. Maybe I need to find a new place to live soon. It's scary here. I locked the door room from the inside and let out a tired sigh. I couldn't live in fear forever. If the security couldn't handle this, it was time for me to move to a new place. But first, I had to fill my hungry stomach tonight. Today, I spent too much energy on this pervert. Suddenly, there was a knock on the door. Who was looking for me at this time? It's already 11 o'clock at night. Was that a pervert? Did he find my room? I really didn't dare open the door. The door handle was turned continuously. Jolie, I'm back from work. Will you open the door for me? What the hell was he talking about? The knock on the door continued to ring. I shivered and grabbed my phone to call security. At the same time, I heard a phone ring outside the hallway, but it quickly disappeared. However, that is not my concern right now. The problem is, I couldn't contact security. I made a few more phone calls, but no reply. I started to lose control of my emotions. I burst into tears. I cried for a long time. I also didn't remember exactly when the knocking stopped. Just know that when I woke up, it was already morning. I have to find a new house today. I'll move today. I cheered myself up, took a day off from work, and resolved to look for a new home. I searched on the home looking website, found some homes that fit my budget, and made an appointment with the landlord to come to see it this morning. Before leaving the house, I cautiously looked around and locked the door. Perhaps the pervert won't appear at this time. I consoled myself like that. When I got into the elevator, I suddenly saw the man yesterday. I held the door for him to come in, but suddenly, a hand pulled him back to the ground and warned. Stop your dirty actions! I was surprised to see him enter the elevator. It's the pervert. He, he showed up again and hit the people in public. Immediately, I screamed and rushed out, pressing the button to open the elevator door. But no, the elevator went down. 
I didn't know what to do, other than banging the elevator door continuously. I had to get out of here. Just me and him in the elevator. I wonder what he would do to me. Open the door! Open the door! Let me out! Save me! Suddenly, the pervert covered my mouth and held me back. Are you crazy? Do you know what you're doing? Pervert, let me go! What the heck are you doing? If you do anything to me, I'll put you in jail! I struggled in the pervert's arms. Suddenly, the elevator shook violently. The electricity in the elevator flickered, and then it was dark. I yelled in panic, but the elevator also stopped. I breathed a sigh of relief. At this point, I realized that I was hugging the pervert. Whoa! His body was also very solid. The scent, too, was so seductive. Mm. I looked up at him. Oh my god! What the heck was I doing? Was I hugging a pervert and smelling his body? I panicked and pushed him away and sat down in the corner of the elevator. Stay away from me! Please, forgive me! The atmosphere was unusually quiet. A few minutes passed. I slowly looked up at him. Wait! He seemed not to be fine. His breathing became quick. He was sweating and shaking. The elevator at this time suddenly became hotter and more mysterious. He wiped his sweat continuously. And he... He took off his shirt. Oh. My. God. What the heck was he doing? You! What are you trying to do with me? Get out! His mouth moved as if he wanted to say something. But no words came out. I panicked and banged on the elevator door repeatedly. I pressed the alarm button. A few seconds passed, but there was no response from the outside. I tried pulling the elevator door with both hands, but it didn't work. I took my back and hit the door, but it didn't work either. His breathing became faster and faster. He grabbed his head and staggered towards me. I didn't know what to do, but waved my back wildly at him. Then he collapsed on my side, and I hurriedly dodged to the other side. He fainted on the ground. He... he... what happened? But luckily for me, if he hadn't fainted, I really didn't know what he would do to me. Inside the stuck elevator. But how could I get out of here? What if he wakes up before someone comes to rescue me? Ah! The phone! That's right! I have to call security. I quickly took out my phone. The phone still has a signal. I immediately called the building security. This time, he answered the phone. I reported everything to him. He said he would come soon. After the conversation was over, I immediately grabbed the strap of my back, erecting the pervert. My hand now directly touched his muscular body. I was so embarrassed. After struggling for a while, I finally managed to tie him in. Then I sat down and waited, hoping the security would come as soon as they promised. I constantly watched the clock. Five minutes. Ten minutes. Then, thirty minutes passed. There was no movement outside. I called the security again, but this time I couldn't call. At this moment, the pervert moved and opened his eyes to wake up. He braced himself. Hey, why are you tying me up? Why are you tied up, huh? Because I didn't know what you would do with me if I let you go. You even took off your shirt. I, uh, uh, I... I was disdainful to look at him. I'm not a pervert as you think. Is there any pervert who would claim to be a pervert? Right. None of the perverts would claim to be a pervert. The real pervert was the one you just met before. You really don't know? If he's a pervert, then this building is a total pervert. He's been following you for a long time. I, I was just trying to help you. You help me? Help me by accompanying me, knocking on my door all night? That way, he will know you're not alone. He will know his own way out. But it sounds like he doesn't know much. What he said made a lot of sense, but he knew so well. Maybe it was a trick on him. I was not so easily fooled. Don't try to justify yourself. 
You, you, let me go, please. Don't dream. I have a claustrophobia. Claustrophobia? I had heard of this syndrome many times. There were a few friends of mine who also had this syndrome, and their expressions were the same as his. Could it be what he said was true? You're afraid of tight spaces, but that doesn't mean you won't be a pervert. I looked at him and then growled. At this time, he continued to sweat, and his breathing became rapid. The same symptoms appeared again. I saw him struggling to get free, looking pitiful as he frantically went. And I unconsciously reached over and grabbed his hand, gently patting his shoulder as if to comfort him. This is what I usually do with my friends when they show signs of claustrophobia. And that way, it worked. He gradually calmed down. His breathing became more regular. Thanks for helping me. It's okay that you're fine. You still have to live to be responsible for your perverted acts. Actually, I'm not a pervert like you think. He told me he was on the same floor as me. He caught the pervert following me many times in front of my door at night. The pervert even installed a mini surveillance camera on my door. And it was him who removed the cameras. Last night, he accidentally saw me coming home from work. And the pervert was also waiting for me at the emergency exit. So he had to chase me and go up with me. By the time I got to my room, he saw the pervert coming up from the emergency stairs on the ninth floor. He wanted to let the pervert know that I was in the same house with another man. So he deliberately knocked on the door and called me. But at that time, I didn't open the door and cried loudly inside the house. He waited until the pervert left and I stopped crying before going back to his room. Did anyone do anything to you that made you cry so loudly? There were a few neighbors who were winning by your crying. How can I trust you? Actually, I don't have any proof. If you don't believe me, when you go out, you can check the camera in the security room. While I was thinking about it, the elevator door suddenly opened. In front of me were a rescuer, two policemen escorting the other man the building manager, and many other girls. A few rumblings. This perverted bastard should have been caught a long time ago. This perverted bastard was trying to molest me this morning. The building manager came over to our side. We apologize for this inconvenience. We have caught the person who caused the problem. He intentionally destroyed the elevator system. Wasn't that man the security guard in the building? When I met him, he was all wearing hats and masks, so I didn't recognize him. Turning out, that story of the pervert I heard was the truth. That's why I reported the building security many times without any resolution. That's also why I heard the phone ring last night coincidentally, when I was calling security. That's also why I called security for a long time, but no rescue came. I look at the guy who was tied up by me in a shirtless state embarrassed. He had such good intentions but was tied up by me. I quickly untied him and apologized repeatedly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I misunderstood you. He said nothing. He picked up the shirt from the elevator and put it on. It looked so seductive. That body and that action. I looked at him without blinking until a policeman's voice rang out. I'll take him to the police station. You also need to come with us for more testimony. Just like that, he and I went to the police station together. Everything was clear. The pervert was also arrested. And you know, that was years ago. Now, we're married. Me and the man who stuck with me in the elevator. We're still in that apartment building. But he and I had moved into a room. And every time I take the elevator, <laughs> I hold his hand tightly and remember what happened. <laughs>